feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Whee! <laughs> Don't pull too far back. You'll lose the loop. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun. Can I visit your houses? Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm. <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah, a big person. Sound the alarm. Ah, big person. <laughs> Me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh. School starting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, acorn class, yes. settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. <laughs> Oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! <laughs> there, back where it belongs. Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on pirate's honour. But, Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say pirate's honour. Pirates honour. All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! Ha ha, yes, children. Now settle down, please. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home! Little kingdom, here we come. Ha-ha! <laughs> I think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about. Having adventures. Lucy's having an elf and fairy party. Great! I've always wanted to go to a big kid's party. Me too. What shall we wear? What we always wear. After all, we are elves and fairies. <coughs> That's the thing. Real elves and fairies aren't invited. It's just a lot of big children dressed up as elves and fairies. Oh! oh. 
Lucy, what's the matter? Oh, Mum, I really wanted Ben and Holly to come to my party. Well, I think they can. Just keep them out of sight and away from your dad. Great! Thanks, Mum. I'll go and tell them. As long as it's only Ben and Holly. Ben! Holly! Mum says you can come to the party after all. Hooray! Hooray! Thanks, Thanks Lucy. Lucy. We can do magic. And play party games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was only supposed to be Ben and Holly. So, you don't want us to come? Of course I do. You can all come. I'm sure it will be fine. Hooray! As long as you promise to stay out of sight and away from my dad. We, we promise. promise. Let's put your wings on. <laughs> now you look like a real fairy princess. Lucy, all your friends are here. Oh, goody. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> I like your fairy wings. I like your elf ears. I made them myself. <laughs> Here's a balloon each. Hold tight or they'll fly away. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. <laughs> I think the coast is clear. Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. Hello. My goodness, you've all come. Um, welcome. Here's a balloon. Hold on tight or it'll fly away. Whoa! Quick, grab him. Ooh! That's not a molehill. That's Gaston's house. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Gaston, they're going to flatten your house. Oh! Don't worry, Gaston. You can come and live with me in the little castle. I'll put the cow shed over there. Oh, no. The cow shed will be right on top of my little castle. Don't worry, Holly. You and Gaston can come and stay with me in the great elf tree. And I'll put the cow manure over by those trees. Oh, that's where the elf tree is. What's manure? Cow poo. Oh, maybe I won't stay at the great elf tree. Thanks anyway, Ben. I'd better start building the fence. Psst! Lucy! Lucy! Oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Your dad is putting his cows right where we live. Yes, isn't it terrible? You have to tell him to stop. OK, I'll tell him that elves and fairies live here. No, no! Big people must never know we live here. But I'm a big person and I know you're special. What can we do then? Let's ask the wise old elf. He'll know what to do. He's old. He's wise. And, and he's, he's an, an elf. elf. <laughs> what was that? Shush, we've got to be quiet. OK, let's go and tell the wise old elf about the cows. Cows in the meadow? We'll have to tell the farmer that he can't put his cows here. No, no. We must never talk to big people. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, big people. Nice to see you again. Oh, hello, Lucy. I thought you said we should never talk to big people. Well, that's apart from Lucy, of course. Lucy is nice. <laughs> Miss Cookie, there's an elf and a fairy walking across my desk. Quick, pretend to be toys. What a pretty fairy doll. And a handsome elf. Are they yours as well, Lucy? Yes, Miss Cookie. I think I'll put these toys in the drawer as well. What are you two doing here? We tried to get your wand, but a boy saw us. Did you pretend to be toys? Yes, yes Nanny. Nanny. Good. Well, I think we've been very clever so far. No one knows we're not toys. But we're shut in the teacher's drawer. And we haven't got our wands. Yes. I think we'll have to call for a little help. Elf Rescue. Hello? Well, if it isn't Nanny Plum, let me guess. The big children have seen you, you've lost your wand, and you've been locked in a cupboard. No, you've got it all wrong. We've been locked in a drawer. Oh, all right. I suppose I'd better rescue you. Elf Helicopter.
helicopter is go. I'm on my way. Sit tight and don't do any magic. He's on his way. Lucy. Psst, Lucy. Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Oh, bother. Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. Yours as well, Lucy. Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah! Hello? Hello, Mrs Witch. Listen, uh, there's no time to explain, but you have to pretend you're not a witch. OK. Who am I, then? You're just a nice old lady. OK. Here they come. Remember, you're just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. OK. Hello. I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, I'm, uh pleased to hear it. My name is Miss Cookie. I'm Mrs Witch. Your name is Mrs Witch? Uh, yes, but I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't eat a fly. Uh, that's good. Can you tell us the way to the lake? Yes, straight down the path and through the trees. You can't miss it. Is that a witch's hat you're wearing? Yes, but I'm not a witch. But you are called Mrs Witch. Yes. And you're called Miss Cookie, but you're not a biscuit. Talking of cookies, if anyone would like a snack, take a roof tile. They're gingerbread, you know. Thanks, Mrs Witch. <gasps> Bye. Bye. <laughs> they never suspected a thing. Thing. But now they're going to the lake. And that's where Redbeard the elf pirate sails his boat. We have to warn him. Hello? Redbeard the elf pirate speaking. Listen carefully. Big people are coming your way. <laughs> I hear them and I've no time to hide. Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie. I'm a toy. Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who's Redbeard? I mean, uh, the doll's got a red beard. Ben and Holly. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Katie. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean... I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it a block of flats. I like your elf costume, especially the ears. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Uh. Come on, everyone. Let's play catch. Katie. Catch! <laughs> to you, Yasmin! <laughs> to you, Ben! Oh, I threw it too far! Don't worry, I've got it! Ooh! Wow! You can run really fast! And jump really high! That's because I'm an elf! Ben? I mean, that's because I keep fit. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, can you run fast? No, but I can fly. Holly, remember, you can't really fly. Oh, yes. I can do magic. Ooh, magic. I like magic tricks. Show us a trick, then. Are you sure you can do magic, Holly? Of course. Are you really sure? Yes. Hikers, hikers. Wow. wow! Holly, you'll give away that we're not normal big people. Oh, sorry. That's an amazing trick. How is it done? <laughs> is it a trick ball? Uh, it 
lots of secrets. A magician never gives away their secrets. Ooh. Lucy, home time. Uh. Hello. <gasps> You're meant to be asleep. You're not supposed to see us. Who are you? Uh, I'm Holly. I'm a fairy princess. A real fairy princess with wings and a wand and everything. <laughs> yes. And this is Ben. He's an elf. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Oh, I wrote you a letter. Thank you. Oh, it's so little. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? <laughs> Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm, I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! elves! No! <laughs> this is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's okay. She's asleep. You can come out now. You! Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho! Lift ho! Lift, 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 lift! Catch ho! Catch, catch ho! Catch, 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 catch! But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow! I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! <laughs> Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Look at that tree. There are little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> in a castle, Lucy. Come and see! Wow! A real fairy castle! Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. Ah! Please put us down. Oh! It's okay. 
It's Lucy. She's just a little girl. She's a very big little girl. She's ginormous. Hello. Hi, Hi Lucy. Lucy. Ooh, more little fairies. I'll have you know I'm not a fairy. I'm an elf. Have you got wings? Can you fly? Elves do not fly. Can you do magic spells? Elves don't do magic. Oh, so what can you do? Elves do, um, lots of things. And we're elves! <laughs> and we're fairies! Wands away, please, fairies. A farm is no place for magic. <laughs> As you can see, Lucy, this is a rather bossy elf. <laughs> Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us, don't we, children? Eggs. Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep. Give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said, Bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means bah. Does anybody know how to make a shelter? Oh, me! Me! I brought my tent. What's this? There we go. Whoa! It's got five bedrooms, a bathroom, a television, and even a cellar. Oh, it's amazing! The best tent in the world! We can't sleep in that! Why not? What's wrong with being comfortable when you're on holiday? This is an adventure, not a holiday! We'll make a shelter out of two twigs and a leaf. You lean the twigs up like this, and hey, presto, what have you got? Two twigs and a leaf. Where's the bed? You sleep on the ground. It's nature's bed. Lovely and cosy. But why bother when you can sleep in my castle tent? You're missing the point. Do you fox cubs want a real adventure? Yes! Good. If you're going to learn how to survive in the wild, you have to be in the wild. Like, uh, at the top of a mountain. What? Fluffy Owl, please magic us to the top of a mountain. OK. Abracadabra. Wow, we're at the top of a real mountain. Fantastic. Now, how are we going to get home? Easy. I'll magic us home. Let's say you don't have your wand with you. OK, I'll call for help. No phone either. Hello, hello. But that's going to make it very, very difficult to get home. Exactly. But when you get home, you will have earned your adventure badge. So, what do we do first? Maybe we should start by working out which mountain we're on. Good, Ben. That's exactly what we should do. Fluffy Owl, which mountain did you magic us to? No idea. What? You just said a mountain. I don't know one mountain from another. Glue, paint, brushes and glitter. Oh, goody. First, I have to put a mat down so that we don't get glue on the floor. Yes. And we must wear aprons to keep our clothes clean. <laughs> now what? We stick the pieces together with glue, like this. One, two, three. There, it's stuck. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. 
there. It's mended. Hooray! Hmm, it doesn't look quite right. Uh, we can paint it. Yes. That's better. Hmm, it had flowers on it too. I'm good at painting flowers. There. But I think he was a bit more sparkly. We can use glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I love glitter. It's so glittery. <laughs> there. Hooray! Do you think your mum might see the difference? Uh, yes. Maybe it just needs more glitter. No, Ben. We tried to mend it, but it didn't work. We'll just have to ask Nanny Plum for a spell. All right, let's go to Nanny. Da la la dee da 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 da. da, da There's da, Nanny. Da, go on, da, ask her for a spell. Da, la, la, da. Did the cave people have electric light bulbs? No, that's to show how the campfire would have looked when it was lit. Here's another button. <laughs> they move. Ooh. You see, King Thistle, the toddlers are being as good as gold. Good as gold. <laughs> it's actually going quite well. The toddlers haven't even made Mrs. Fotheringill disappear yet. Stone Age times. Close your eyes and imagine what it must have been like. <laughs> I have always wanted to know what it would be like to live in the Stone Age. Abracadabra! <laughs> oh dear, I suppose it was never going to last. All they've left is her shoes. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent Mrs. Fotheringill? Stone, Stone Age! Age. <gasps> They've sent Mrs. Fotheringill back to the Stone Age. That was a very naughty thing to do. Bring Mrs. Fotheringill back right now. <sighs> OK. Oh! On second thoughts, you don't want to know what it was like to live in the Stone Age. Oh, my shoes! It's good to have them back. Right. Next room, Ancient Egypt. Ooh! Look. Here is a model showing how a pyramid was built. It's quite small. Were the ancient Egyptians the size of elves and fairies? No, the ancient Egyptians were big people. And the pyramids are huge. But they wouldn't be able to fit a full-sized pyramid into the museum. Big. That's right, Daisy. Think how big a real pyramid would be. Here we go again. Use your imagination. Big. Right home. What's going on here? Big people are coming. What's in there? Everyone, pretend to be toys. And what are these little toys doing here? Hello. Uh, hello. Frog time. <laughs> well done, Tarquin. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> <laughs> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. She's a butterfly. Betty Butterfly. 
<laughs> Look, they're all flying together. <laughs> she looks really happy. Let's join them. <laughs> <laughs> Now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> yee <Yeehaw>! <laughs> no! Don't open that door! Hang on! What happened? When you open a door in space, it sucks all of the air out of the rocket! Poor Nanny Plum! She's floating away! We can hear you through the radio, Nanny Plum. You don't need to shout. Just stay calm. Stay calm? I'm floating off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No! We have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <coughs> all right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready. <coughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to what? Oh, no. We can't reach Nanny Plum. Mr Elf. The rope isn't long enough. Oh, no! Lost in space! And I never even went to the toilet. Here's your lasso, Ben. Thanks, Dad. Keep still. I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you! Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf, honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fairy's honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. Our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, there will be no picnic on the moon. This monkey is over a hundred years ill. <laughs> and this clown is over two hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they were made at the Elf Factory by someone called the Wise Old Elf. We know the Wise Old Elf. <gasps> you know the Wise Old Elf? What's he like? He's wise. He's old. He's... He's a grumpy old elf that's a bit clever. This is my favourite toy. A clockwork fairground ride. But sadly, it's broken. Don't worry, I can mend it. I don't think so. It needs to be seen by an expert. Elves are experts, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> and I can help you, Ben. Rawr! Don't touch! These toys must not be touched by children. We'll have to touch it to mend it. Um, okay. There, it's mended. Oh, 
It stopped. I want it to go again. Oh, yes, again, again, again. More, more, more. OK. <laughs> King and Queen Marigold's castle isn't boring at all. Yes, actually, it's quite fun, isn't it? Choo -choo. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. A spider! <laughs> it's only a toy spider. Dad gets it out every year. <gasps> Ho, 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 ho! Happy Elf Joke Day! Ho, 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 ho! <gasps> Mr Elf! I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly! I hope we didn't startle you! <laughs> it's OK. It's funny. Ho, <laughs> ho! Oh, hello, Princess Holly. Are you having a merry Elf Joke Day? <laughs> yes! I like jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nanny Plum was here. She loves jokes. Oh, I didn't know Nanny Plum liked such things. Yes, Nanny's got a really good sense of humour. Really? Then maybe we should go and show her some jokes. <laughs> to the elf truck. <laughs> No, no, Princess Holly. A joke should be a surprise. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, I'm really busy. Who can that be? Hello. What do you want? Hello. What do you want? What? What? Why are you copying everything I say? <laughs> Why are you copying everything I say? Oh. I haven't got time for this. <laughs> I haven't got time for this. Silly old fool. Silly old fool. Oh. I don't think Nanny found that funny. I thought you said she liked jokes. She does. Let's try another one. Very well. Uh, we've got another fish. Oh, well, this isn't a fish. It's a mirror. Can we keep it, Dad? Yes, it's from the bottom of the lake, so it can't belong to anyone. Cool. OK, well, it's, it's been nice chatting to you, um, little folk. <laughs> but I think it's time to go home. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Do you think the mirror is magic, Dad? I hope not. I've seen enough magic for one day. <laughs> Listen, somebody's crying. It's a girl. Hello. What are you doing in the lake? I live here. You live in the lake? Yes. I'm a mermaid. <gasps> my name is Oceana. Why were you crying? I've lost my mirror. That must be the mirror Lucy found. And where is this Lucy? She's a big girl. So she'll probably be on her way to school. <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad! Oh, no. A mermaid's mirror must never be seen by big people. Don't worry. I'm sure Lucy won't show it to anyone. Look, everybody. I found a mirror. Ooh. Ooh! Lovely. That's perfect for our show and tell. Come up to the front, Lucy, and show the mirror to the whole class. Ah! My poor mirror. I'll never get it back because I can't walk on land. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get your mirror back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Home time, children. Hi, Dad. Hi, Lucy. Good day. Lucy. Psst, Lucy. Ben, Holly, what are you doing here? We've come for the mirror. It belongs to a mermaid. Ben! Oh, well. I suppose I could do some wand practice while I wait. Now, wand, what shall we do today? Yes, 
Let's make a pretty hat. Abracazat, a pretty hat. Oh, it's not very pretty. And it's too big. Bye-bye, silly hat. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. I'm practising my magic. Do you want to see? Uh, OK. Stand very still. I'll make you a new hat. Abracazat, magic Ben a hat. Oh. Ben, are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practising, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now, a good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I have a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. Please turn Ben back, Nanny. I don't think he likes being a hat. <laughs> oh, very well. Watch and learn. Ding dong den, hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong, but Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Holly, what have you forgotten? Uh, Your wand. Where is it? Oh, I don't seem to have it. These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! Chicken's escaped! Whoa, whoa. Catch that chicken! <laughs> Quick, to the elf truck! Follow that chicken. Clockwork has wound down. Quick, Holly, let's wind it up. Oh, hello. Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Nanny Plum, 
I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Can we help you, Nanny Plum? Of course. <laughs> uh, Nanny Plum, what's in this medicine of yours? Oh, just blackberry juice, lemon and sugar and a few other things. Nanny, what other things do we need? Let's see. A dewdrop from a spider's web. Ooh. The slime from a slug. Ooh. And un drop de grenouille. What's, What's that? that? Frog burp. Ugh. You'll never get Daddy to drink that. <laughs> oh, no. It would be most unfortunate if anyone were to drink this. This is a potion for rubbing on his feet. Ooh! Right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Stop, Holly. It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Ugh. Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. Ah, oh, it's so nice to stand on something that isn't moving. Redbeard, do islands normally have fins? Not as a rule, no. What about eyes? Hardly ever. It's lovely being on dry land. Uh, I think you should come back now. No, I want to stay here. Pick me up on the way home. Nanny Plum, hurry! I'm not leaving this island. I wouldn't exactly call that an island. Why not? Because it's a fish and a whopping big one. It's Big Bad Furry. Ah, help me. Don't worry, you're in no danger as long as he doesn't think you're food. Like a fly or something. Ah, ah. Nanny does look like a fly. Ah, I'm not a fly. I'm not a fly. Ah, get away. Don't let me. Flap your wings so much, Nanny! Fly faster, Nanny! Oh, nanny, don't look so like a fly, will you? Ah! Ah! Nanny, catch hold of the hook! Oof! Now she looks a bit like a worm on a hook! Ooh, fish like eating worms! I'm not a worm! I'm not a worm! Whoops! Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to use a fishing rod! Ah! Hang on, Nanny! I'm pulling you in! Ah! And how's me sweet darling? Not having a very good day, are you? Not having a good day? Not having a good day? A fish just tried to eat me! Yep, those sailors were definitely right about the woman on board bad luck stuff. Bug! Coming towards us! Fog? That's bad. Can we go home? <laughs> Bingo! Ho, ho, ho. We'll make an elf of you yet, Holly. Can we build a castle big enough for us to go inside? <laughs> We'd need a huge bucket to make a sandcastle that big. Uh, like that one? That's 
It's a very huge bucket. It must have been left by big children. There aren't any big people here now. Good thing. Big people have big feet and you never know where they're going to step. Look, they've left some spades. Let's build a big sandcastle for Princess Holly. It can be our thank you for lunch. Good idea, Mr Elf. Can I help? No, no, no. Please just relax and enjoy watching elves doing what elves do best. What do elves do best? Elves are best at making things. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> ho, heave ho, dig ho, dig, dig ho, dig, 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 dig. Heave ho, heave ho. Princess Holly, would you do the honours by tapping the bucket? <laughs> lift ho, lift ho. Bingo! Can we go inside? But there isn't a door. I'll soon sort that out. <laughs> There's your door. <laughs> Since this is our very own castle... Enter. Hello, Princess Holly. I'm not Princess Holly. I am Queen Holly today. I've got no time for these fun and games. I've come to collect Ben for school. Oh. Wait, Ben. Mummy and Daddy are away today. So I am in charge of the whole kingdom. Is this true, Nanny Plum? I'm afraid so. And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, there'll be no school for anyone today. No school for anyone? Yes. It's the law, because I am Queen Holly. Um, as you wish, Queen Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The children will be most upset when they hear the news. Children, I'm afraid Queen Holly has informed me there will be no school today. What shall we do all day? Uh, play games! Yes, you've got to play games and be happy because I am Queen Holly! It takes time to catch a fish! I've caught a fish! Holly, grab the net! Get ready to catch it! Well done, Daddy! Wow, it's big! It's a whopper, all right, and I caught it. It's only a little tiddler. It must be the biggest fish in the lake. It's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Really? Really. It was many years ago when I first met Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry? Who's that? Only the biggest, hugest, most gigantic-est fish the world has ever seen. No! It was a dark and stormy night. I was out sailing in my favourite boat, Hilda, when I first saw Big Bad Barry. I knew straight away I had to catch him. 
I had to be the fisherman who took him home for the biggest fish dinner in history. I tried several different baits before I found what Barry liked. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. I put a bit of cheese on the line and Barry was hooked straight away. The only thing was, he was stronger than my old boat Hilda was. Bad Barry dragged my poor boat Hilda all over the lake. And when he'd finished that, he ate her. He ate Hilda? It sounds horrid. It was. So you built Bunty to replace Hilda? No. First, there was Doris. Then Peggy. There was Abigail, Fifi and Trixabel. Not forgetting Sabrina, Vicky and Miss Boo Boo. Barry ate them all. <gasps> I tried to catch Barry so many times. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Hulk. Oh. Oh no! Pippin's run away! Oh, um, how sad! How terribly sad! Pippin! Pippin! We've lost Pippin! What a dreadful turn of events! Pippin's gone! Gone forever! Wait, King Thistle! I can get your hamster back! Ah, uh, don't trouble yourself, Ben! It's no trouble! Elves are good at rounding up hamsters, and I'm an elf! <laughs> Ready, Gaston? <laughs> Pippin's back, King Thistle. Safe and sound. Ah, uh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Let's close the cage door before Pippin escapes again. <laughs> Does it ever go to sleep? Uh, maybe when it's tired. And how do we make it tired? Let's ask the wise old elf. He knows everything. Hello? Wise old elf speaking. How do you make a hamster tired? Hamster? Oof. The king's pet hamster. We need to make it tired. Ah, I see. What you need is a wheel. A wheel? How will that help? Wait and see. I'll be right over. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness! Where's that going to go? It's hideous! Oh, 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 oh. The things we do for our pets, hey, eh, King Thistle? It's. Oh, it's so pretty. Look! Where? What is it? It's Redbeard's boat! By Neptune, you're right! Well spotted, Ben! Oh, for a moment, I thought you'd seen Big Bad Barry. Ho ho! Now I can get me treasure back! Let's get it and go. I don't like it down here. I love it! All the fish and the flowers and that big underwater cloud. You don't get underwater clouds, me hearty. Shiver me timbers! It's a fish! It's so big! It looks bad. Is it Barry? It is. It's big, bad Barry. He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat. Oh, dear. He's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! <laughs> Did you see that? He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape. Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home, then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure! Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr. Ralph. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. 
Well, we're somewhere strange, and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. Turn on the lights, Mr. Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. It smells fishy. What a pong. Where are we? Look, me ship. There it is. Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' ones in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Sissel, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the two of hearts. Your card is the two of hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. How's it done? For my next trick, I will turn myself into a mouse. Ooh. You little ones need to wait behind this door for a moment. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children, I've turned myself into a... Mousy, mousy! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the wands in the library. Ah, uh, yes. Squeak! Ahoy, me hearties! I'm here to pick up my niece, Meryl. Oh, <laughs> Actually, the party's not quite over yet. <laughs> no? The toddlers are in the library with the dangerous spell books. They've got all the magic wands. And they've magic the wise old elf into a mouse. Squeak! Sounds like a fun party. <gasps>